The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Morning. Morning. Huh? Morning. How was it rain last night? Oh, Another storm. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Me neither. I lost power again. Again? Oh, yep. Did you? That's two nights That's in a row. Mm. On there. Yeah. So your whole street or the whole Yeah, Yeah, like area? a big, big sort of part of our area that's serviced by the one power thing. Yeah. Do you have a torch or anything like that or do you just use your mobile phone? Uh, well, it the- happened whilst we were asleep. I had to go out at 2 o'clock this morning to... Bronte was hot because the aircon wasn't working. Yeah, that'd be- and I had to go mm. flick the... Because um, it tripped our switch, yeah, the right. safety switch. So. Well, your fridge as well. Yeah, fridge. The only two things in the house that were working was the oven and the microwave. So really? they they so, turned on first, yeah. So what'd you cook? It's weird. <laughs> well, I wish I cooked something. Anyway. No, but you know what I mean? You, uh, so when you made your way to uh, switch the main switch or whatever, did you have a the torch kind on your of phone? a torch? Yeah, well, kind of uh, an actual torch because we have something that plugs into the hallway that like glows when you walk past it, oh, okay. and then when the power goes out, it turns into a torch. Oh, so I, I like just that. Picked that up and went out. Yeah, it's he's pretty handy. A, he's got a dolphin. <laughs> What? Yeah, an old a dolphin with, with one of those real big batteries. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, the dolphin. Click, 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 click. Yeah, we've Bob, got one Bob, at home. Bobbles in the water. I remember the yeah. dolphin flicks it up and goes. Yeah. Really? What, what does it, what does it, does it make? <laughs> the ad. Remember the ad for them? Mm, no. Don't worry. Don't remember that. Yeah, no, I, I, I know Thank what you. you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that never happened. <laughs> uh, oh, we it? laugh. Uh, you went and saw, I was going to come to the movie, or I got tired yesterday, actually. Yeah. Oh, yes, got to find oh, you, put me in a, you put me Glad in a compromising position. What do you like, mean? Because you, you said you might come. Okay, yeah. this was like at, uh, I don't know, about 10 to 6. He said, I might come. I'm just coming back from seeing Dad, or you have a I mean, shower, and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, right, oh, okay. So then I get there, and going into the cinema... And I'm like, well, is he going to come? Is he not going to come? So I saved a seat. Oh, oh, see, I was, I didn't RSVP. Yes, right. So and I, I don't know. I felt bad. So yeah, him. I did. The, I saved the seat. Oh, but then, the, then came a point where I was like, oh, he's so was he now if he comes. It was packed. Okay, yeah, that so. would have been, not been cool for me to go then. That's yeah. good. How many times did you say, oh, sorry, this seat's taken? Only once. Oh, okay, it's yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, and then I was like, oh, this is going to get. So did you have someone sit next to you in the end? Mm. Well, yeah, yeah an Acker as well, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I was saving, but yeah, whatever. Was it, yeah. What find was it good? What that's like. Well, I'll do a review. I'm going to yeah, do, well, a, nice. I'll do a review. I'll do Perfect. a review. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Here, there could be rain for Pearl Jam Wednesday night. Oh, too. Don't, that's part of my Google trending. Oh, come on, Lutzi. Oh, no. What, the weather report or the Pearl Jam? <laughs> Pearl Jam. Oh, okay. I don't Should even know Lutzi? that. How did she mm. knew that? How does he know that? What, like the weather at Pearl Jam was part of your trending? <laughs> I'm no, just talking the weather. I didn't even know Pearl Jam was coming to the Gold Coast. Yes, till tomorrow it, night. Until I read my Google trending. I'm going. That's a big... D- you going to that? Yeah. Are you a big Pearl Jam big guy? Deal. Yeah. Yeah. What are they good, what are they good for? Corduroy was the album that... Much of, this is the same way. In Excess Kick caught me back in the day. Mm. Um, Pearl Jam Corduroy was the album. Mm. Uh, that was um, that was a couple of their big ones. Is like, that Flea um, and stuff? Can't find a, can't find a better that's man. Right, that's Peppers. the Peppers. Um, no, Pearl Jam is Eddie Vedder. Oh right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen the He's footage the of? Voice. Oh, have you ever seen the footage of him when he was like really like you young? You talk deep when you talk about it. Oh, <laughs> no, when he was really young, and he he does a, a live performance. It's on a TV show, like but brilliant. Just yeah, I don't know. I've seen like that re- one. really early Pearl Jam stuff. Mm. Crazy voice. Better man was his big one. Oh, yes. That's why she'll be back again. Where are they playing? Uh, Gold Coast. I guess it's... Metricon. What they call that now? Metricon, yeah. They're playing at the Carrara Rock Concert. Mm. So... Well, I guess we'll hear a lot about it next. Hold it. <laughs> Save it. Don't waste it. On to Feature I Am, Oh, there's a weather part in it, too. Oh, you're, you're reading it for the first time, aren't you? <laughs> and she'll read it for the second time next. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Trending. trending. Here's what's trending. Trending Tuesday. This is what's trending in Google Queensland. So mm. people in Queensland, what, what they're Googling, which I find interesting. Number one, Yellowstone. It's funny oh, yeah. because I was just talking about that this morning with Ash. Yeah. The first, ep- yeah, the first episode of Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 has been released on Stan 
but people aren't happy about the fate of one character. Oh, no. Oh, Can spoiler. you guess who that is? Well, no, I don't want to hear. Uh, what's his name? Who's the... I haven't um, watched it yet. Uh, oh, I'm going to say it. What? Is it Rip? Oh, What's his it. name? I've blah, forgotten blah, all their blah, names. Blah, blah. I'm blocking my ears. John Dutton the Third, the patriarch yeah, yeah, of the yeah, Dutton yeah, family, yeah. who was played by Kevin Costner. Yeah. Um, he sparked controversy. Remember recently, he walked away from the show. Yeah. He, he did another very similar show. Yeah. <laughs> Lots. He's got his fingers in his ears. Okay, put your fingers in your ears if you don't want to hear. He had a movie called Horizon. He went off to make his own western film or two two part movie. Um, instead, he wanted to dedicate time, so he wanted to mm. leave Yellowstone for it. Yeah. So he left Yellowstone, and um, no one knew what was going to happen to his character, but the fate of his character has finally been revealed. Let's just see how long we can leave Lutzi out of this segment for. <laughs> yeah, yeah, move on to the next one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we done? Num- number no, two. No, 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 no. Oh, for God's sake. No, no. Elise <laughs> Stefanik. So I'm, I'm surprised this is what people in Queensland are Googling. So Trump chose Republican... No, Rep, sorry. Uh, Elise Stefanik as ambassador to United Nations. The 40-year-old up... Have you heard of her? No. The 40-year-old upstate Republican who helped force out two Ivy League presidents with a sharp questioning on campus anti-Semitism will lead Trump's America's first and pro-Israel message in Turtle Bay. Stefanik has been a close Trump ally, including serving on his ceremonial defence team in 2020 during his first impeachment trial. Why are people Googling that? Surely no, it's Google. Who cares? Is that, that, is that Google Queensland? Yes, apparently. Really? Google Queensland. Number three, this is a good one. Pearl Jam Gold Coast. And then this I understand why people do Google. Yeah. Pearl Jam will appear in the Carrara Rock Concert tomorrow. Or today? Tomorrow. No, tomorrow at Carrara, yeah. We have more than 45,000 fans heading to People's First Stadium. Which one's that? They should have to keep their name for a certain period of time. It's just Carrara. Carrara. It's got to be Carrara. Isn't it? Is that what they call it now? People First Stadium on Wednesday night. Um, the vast majority of ticket holders are from out of the region. So that out of the not... Gold Coast. Yeah. Yep. But the question looms, which this is what Lutzi alluded to, the question looms if the gig will go ahead considering current weather conditions. Mm, dear. Mm, that's not good. It's really Queensland weather. that drive. Mm. Sorry? You know, to make the drive and then it's not on. And you're still going home at midnight. Mm. Mm. That's a very unhappy David in the studio <laughs> Thursday morning. Mm. It impacts all of you. Mm. It's like it did yesterday. If that does happen, just stay at home on Thursday. Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, really, really, yeah. um, ah, that's, that's pretty cool. Perfect. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I've been kind of laughing to myself for the last couple of days just on a phone conversation that I had on Sunday with Archie. Like my, mm. my 12 year old, he stayed over at his mate Sonny's house on the Saturday night and they go fishing together. Like that, so Archie, I, I dropped Archie off, he's got all, all his rods and that. And they haven't got a boat or anything, but they just sort of hop around the canals. And Sonny's down at sort of Broad Beach. So Hi. anyway, I was heading out to, to uh, golf on Sunday morning and I get a phone call from Archie. So I knew it was, it, you know, it was a fishing update and, <laughs> and it was hot. Remember how hot it was on yeah, Sunday? Yeah, it was hot. And this was, uh, I don't know, like about 10 o'clock in the morning. And I go, Archie, what's going on? And he's like, oh, Dad, um, you wouldn't believe what that just happened. Oh, I'm so thirsty, by the way, but you wouldn't believe what, <laughs> what just happened. So cute. Um, yeah. And he's at 100 mile an hour and he goes, oh, um, I just got smoked by the biggest jack. I saw it. Like his dream is to catch a, like a big mangrove jack. And he, go, and he goes, Boy. yeah. This big jack just came out of nowhere and it just took my line and I was on only for about five seconds and then it just, uh, it, it just busted off. It busted off. I'm so thirsty. Um, <laughs> and, and I go, oh no, um, have, have you lost your rig? Did you re- re-rig up? Yeah, re-rigged up but I never got a, I never got another hit. And then he goes, oh, just, and then he goes, oh, oh, just hang on a second. And all I hear, somebody must have handed him at that moment water. <laughs> and all I heard was just like, glug, 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 glug. And, and, and he just kept doing that. And then all of a sudden the phone went dead. And that, and that was the, so it was only like a 45 <laughs> priority second kid. phone call. But in that phone call, he must have said I'm thirsty three times. And then finally what turned up? <laughs> like, I don't know if he drowned or what happened to him. <laughs> the Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Each year, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame inducts new members to the Hall of Fame. This year, it's names like uh, Sally Pearson, Mark Scaife, I saw this. Mark Knowles, 
uh, yeah, the Karen Murphy, the, the bowler. But they also Legends. have they also have a scholarship program where they six young athletes uh, get a scholarship. They get ten thousand dollars, but they also get paired with a member of the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. So. This year, I've been paired with diver Ellie Cole, and we've got her yes. on the line. Hi, Ellie. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. You met Susan, obviously, or if you haven't, she's not a very good mentor. We haven't met yet. We haven't met oh, yet. Come on, we guys. Haven't met oh, yet. What? Susie. How I long know. have you been mentoring her for? We've been mentoring for <laughs> seven years. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's a reason, isn't there, Ellie? We haven't spoken. I hope it's the yes. I've just finished my year twelve exams, so oh, I okay, nice. Busy. So busy you're, you're fi- you just finished school. How'd you go yes. in your exams? Yeah, I think I went pretty well. Pretty happy with them. Glad they're finished. But yeah, I think I went pretty well. Now, Suze, you would have gone to an Olympics when you were at school. Yes, uh, would you have, or were uh, you out of in ninety? No, sixty eight. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's about the same age as Ellie. I think you're 18 and you went to the Paris Olympics. Oh, I'm, yeah, but, On but the, the point obviously. is you were at mm. school, Ellie. Yeah. You competed this year. Like, I've got to... Just have to imagine what does this school do? Does it give you every sporting award that there is? That if you go to yeah. do an Olympic game, you know what I mean. Like you have to have won everything that the school has yeah. got to offer. They've been pretty supportive. They've been pretty supportive. They've I've gotten quite a couple of awards, which I'm really grateful to have received. Um, but yeah, the school's been incredible. So I didn't win my sporting award actually. If we're going to talk actually, about it, oh, she'll remember who did. Because, yeah, <laughs> who Jack, won it? A really good friend of mine, um, Jackie Myers. She was oh. an all rounder. Yeah, but I was still a bit dirty. I didn't win it. So you won yours, <laughs> hey, Helly? I think so. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. She doesn't. Doesn't even know. That'd be the greatest achievement of my life if I'd won yeah. the sporting award. Yeah. So I don't know if I won it or not. I was finishing seventh and seventh in the ten meter. Like on some level, having never been to the, you've never been to the Olympics before this, obviously. Mm. Um, your expectations, like even though you think you're in that sort of ballpark to finish top ten and seventh, you're not, you're not that far off the podium. I mean, that's an amazing first up performance. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't going into the competition. I didn't really know where I was going to sit because mm. I'd never really competed against these people before. So I kind of I just had an open mind. I went in and I tried my best, and yeah, I was really happy with the result. Can you talk about? Um the first time that you dived off the 10 metre platform I, I, I oh. think that it's just mm. such an underrate like this requires so much well courage for one but then mm. the ability to be able to stay calm focused and execute whatever the bloody hell it is the exercise that you're doing or mm. maneuver that you're doing I just think it's a combination of so many ingredients that need to go right and I imagine that the first time you do it for anybody would be a fairly major moment in your life yeah, definitely. It was very terrifying. I do have to admit, I was so scared. Um, it's it's a lot higher than you think it would be, but you kind of get used to it as you progress. Um, but I remember when I was first learning some of my dives on 10 metre, there was this one dive that I was doing and I didn't do it too well the first time I did it. I like landed on my back. It was very ah, scary. Um, but I went back up because my coach told me I had to redo it. And my hands were like completely numb out of fear. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. It was terrifying. But I feel like as soon as you enter the water, like once you take off, you kind of know what you're doing and it's all kind of muscle memory and you get used to it. It gets it gets a lot easier. So when you went to the Olympics and you're walking up the, the stand up the stairs, is there something mm. you say in your head as you're walking up there to, to calm your nerves? Um, I'm actually singing to myself. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I like do some dances and I like sing and I kind of just forget about the entire competition. What sort of music? I just kind of focus talking? on what song? The music. What, what artist? What song? Oh, um, <laughs> definitely Leve, the jazz artist, and then really? Arctic Monkeys, the rock band. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're talking about them today. Isn't that funny? Mm. Really? Yeah. Oh my gosh! Because yeah, they're saying they sound like uh, Otis. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I made that. I made that comment. Otis, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Royal Otis. Royal, Royal Otis. Otis. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is that right, eh? So whatever, whatever sort of clears the, the mechanism and gets you not thinking about what's below you, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, basically. Just wow. ignore everything. Are you coming down to the dinner? We got a dinner um, in a couple of weeks, the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. And it, when I went to my first one, Ellie, and I don't know if you'll find this, it was a complete spin out because I was standing next to people that I would uh, growing up with, like Ken Rosewell and Dawn Fraser. and Yeah, that's nuts. Um, <gasps> it, Pat Rafter, or Shane oh Warne. I met Shane Warne there as well. And before the actual function that you go in that um, everyone buys tickets for, you go into a room mm-hmm. and all the members are there. It's the most amazing little sort of meet and greet that you'll you'll ever um, Oh, my gosh, I'm to. excited. 
That's yes, so I'm cool. so excited. That's so cool. Uh, just another diving technical question. Mm-hmm. When you're up on the 10 metre and that, <laughs> that last sort of, you sort of see that kind of like the shoulders raised and then, and then down. Is there is there is there key words like I'm making stuff up here? Obviously, we say you're doing a two and a half twist with or whatever. Do you go two and a half twist, bang bang? Is it like four words and then you go or what? I think about certain aspects of the dive, and it's usually like the takeoff and then the entry position. So when I'm kind of standing on the end, all I'm thinking about is the feeling of the dive. Like my, I get my muscles right. to almost replicate the movement. Oh, wow. Okay. That's while awesome. stationary, I like tighten my core for like a split second, and then I like squeeze all my muscles. To kind of prepare yeah. myself for the really fast spins and everything. Wow, that's like. And a what's crazy... with diving and uh, showers? Like every time I see mm. someone take a, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're the most hygienic yeah, athletes the cleanest, in the world. No cleanest one... athletes I've ever come across. Like it, it's like you do a dive and everyone's straight out of the pool into the shower to the shower. Like like <laughs> it, immediately chilly. to the. Is it, oh. oh, is that what it is? Is that what it yeah. is? Yeah, because so, you're in the water and then out of the water, and sometimes the air is really cold. So we go and the showers are really warm, and yeah. so they warm oh. up our muscles. Does Susie, oh. go, Susie go weeks without a shower at times back at her, <laughs> at her prime? No, I'm very clean as well. <laughs> I, I mean, it. technically, the chlorine is sterilizing you, so. Yeah, okay. Point. So All it's right. very clean. There even, there's even spas now, isn't there? Hot spas by the side of oh, the pool? Oh, yeah. Hot and cold spas sometimes as well. Okay. Oh, yeah, nice. And, and mm. what's uh, what's your role, Suze, as far as the mentorship of, yeah, of Ali is concerned? Like, what are the um, what what are the things you're going to pass well, on? Well, it's usually um, you can do whatever you like, but I think the main thing I like to do is meet um, young athletes, and then when they see that I'm semi-normal or pretty normal, they realise anything's possible. So for me, when I growing up, like when I met. The lady who held the, my world record, Mary T. Ma, yes. uh, who wanted to get, and I met her, and she was exactly the same as me. And in my mind, I thought she was a superhero. A superhero. Mm-hmm. So I think that's the main thing to realise that anyone who is successful is, is is kind of well, a normal person that just works hard. And I think that's the main barrier to overcome to be successful. Apart from that, um, we'll just you know chit chat. And, yeah, uh, I'm do excited. A few things. Someone, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to talk to her about. Things. Yeah, because you know, find out what you're up to. I mean. Some of my um, athletes that I've mentored in the past, just finding out what they're, they're doing now. Like I, I mentored a gymnast. I think she was my first one I mentored with the Sport Australia Hall of Fame. Mm-hmm. And she never made it internationally in, in sport. You have. But she went to an American university through gymnastics, got a degree, got a really good job. So used yeah. a lot of those skills to do other things. So, um, yeah, just getting to know you and meet you. And, and it's such a great opportunity for, for your athletes. You get, you get 10000 bucks. That's, yeah, that's that helps because diving is something mm. which takes you obviously if you want to be the world's best in diving you've got to go on the, the circuit and like it's mm. around the world you can't just live in Australia and do it so and money it's it's you got to you know it's it's tough it's, mm. it's you got to take that mm. the, the bits of funding you get so that ten thousand dollars will make a significant difference. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I'm so grateful for it. Oh, thank God you just didn't say, guys, I blew it all last week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm 18 now. I blew, I blew it at the start of the scene. It fucking. never made it through schoolies. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I look forward to meeting you in a couple of weeks, Ellie, and um, chatting chatting to you. And, yes, um, I'm so excited. Yeah. And, and there's a prime example of an athlete where you can become, Susie's become part of Ellie's journey. And the great thing is you don't have to be her mentor to do it. Everyone can be a part of it. I think it's a great way that we can positively use social media at the moment mm. to to mm. just attach yourself to the journey of a young athlete like Ellie who is in the absolute wheelhouse for LA. She'll be 22 years of age and then the Brisbane Olympics in th- 2032, you'll be just 26 years so of age. Still. I mean, this is an athlete that you want to just jot it down, remember it, follow her journey, be part of the journey and then hopefully celebrate through all the, the, the victories which come in later in the career as well. At Ellie Cole Diving if you want to follow her on Instagram. Mm, nice. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, see ya. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Suze. Bright and Homes are offering up to $35,000 cash back on their new homes for a limited time only. Discover how better begins with Brighton. Mm. All right, Amanda out of Rothwell. How art thou? Good. Good morning. Very excited. Do you know what I'm Google Earthing right now? What are you Google Earthing, I'm buddy? I'm go- Google Earthing Woody Head in New South Wales Woody because it says head. up on the screen here. Oh, I know where this is. Okay. Woody uh, Head? Just outside of Iluka. Yeah, just north of Iluka and Where's north Iluka? of Yamba. Yamba. So you've got Yamba yep. and then across the, the river. That's mm-hmm. the Mac- McLean River or whatever it is that, that there. 
you've got Iluka, and just above that is Booty Head, and that's where Amanda goes camping. So when's your camping trip? Um, early January. Oh, that looks like... Second week of... Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, beautiful that looks place. really good. That's a good area, isn't it? And then you've got Angari down a bit further south. Yeah, that's a good part of the world, isn't it? All right. Yeah, my family's been going for a long time. Love it. To Woody Head. Yeah, it yes. looks magnificent. Um, okay, well, good luck with that. Thank Camping you. Down at, down at Woody Head, and um, and it's your second time that you've played. You lost the first time, so retribution, rebuild Willie as well. Mm. Only a hundred dollars, but the kick, so. kickback cave in full effect. Lutzy's in a good mood today. I can tell. Yeah, I'm pumped. I feel yeah. like everyone's in a good mood today. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. Like the show's flying. When we broke for the last news, I thought it was I like the it was seven. seven. Yeah, I thought it was, and I was like, oh, we who are. Mm. I Nine love it when eight. this happens. Yeah. We're breezing through it. So let's uh, let's do it, Amanda. Good luck. 30 Thank seconds you. on the clock and your time starts now. The nose of a Bubble O Bill ice cream is made of what? Bubble gum. In which film does Rachel McAdams play Regina George? Don't know. Nono is an Italian word for what relation? Grandmother. Shiba Inu is a breed of which animal? Dog. What is 55 times 3? Don't know. Stop clock. Mm, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, you, you, you're dicing up in your head. Do I want to try and work out 55 times three yep. or just save the time? <laughs> yeah. Just save the time. That's what I was trying to do. Um, Amanda, can I ask uh, one of those questions, the the Bubble O Bill one? Did yep. you Did you, were you aware of that because of something you saw yesterday or just something you knew anyway? Uh, something I knew, I think. Yeah, it was like. Correct. I knew it. Front, <laughs> front and centre courier mail. Really? Yesterday trivia. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, I didn't see it. What are you, talk- what are you talking I'm t- about? I'm talking when you go Career Mail Digital. Like in the morning, I go to the Chris Jones's Career Mail Digital and just flick through the lead stories. If you go far enough through the lead stories, it comes to the question, it comes to the trivia bit, and that was the lead question. Oh, you're, you're joking. Yeah. No, I'm not joking. I, I, thought, you were, I thought you were saying that somehow rather Bubble O Bill was like a major news story of the day. No, no. It was but just it was an actual from trivia the question. Trivia, so, like, he's ripped it directly from that. We can, can now confirm. But, Lutzi, if you were, if you were going to just steal questions... The main one. If you're going to steal questions every day, why not pick a newspaper that's not... <laughs> like our, our closest the New York newspaper. York Post. Yes. We'd Anything. Never, uh-huh. We'd never know. Even the Daily mm. Tally. Like, anything other than the Korean... Sydney Mart. Morning Herald, because it's a different company. Like, it's... Well, even you know what I mean? Like, they ask trivia questions overseas as well. Yeah. You could ask... You could pick like, a, the London Times, the, the, yeah. the Guardian, like, the Irish Times, anything. I mean, come on. That just shows no creativity whatsoever. <laughs> Let's bring in the Gimp. I'm bringing in the Gimp. I'm bringing in the Gimp. What a glorious feeling of leather and studs. Susie O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddie. Okay, rebuild. Let's rebuild. Let's go, let's Suze. Go. Back on the in the winner's circle. Thirty seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. The nose of a Bubble O Bill ice cream is made of what? Bubble gum. In which film does Rachel McAdams play Regina George? Notebook. The notebook. Nono is an Italian word for what relation? Uh, your grandma. Shiba Inu is a breed of which animal? Dog. What is fifty-five times three? Hundred and uh, hundred and sixty-five. Stop the clock. Pitch perfect. Take a two cup. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. The nose of a bubble o' bill ice cream is made of what? You both said bubble gum, mm. and that is correct. Love that. Do you still buy? It? Can you still buy them? I think they're still around. Yeah, they are. They're yeah, still around. I think they're still around. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, did you get confirmation on that, by the way, David? Uh, I, well, I just know. Oh, you, didn't, no, you, you actually saw it. Yeah, it was, it was the number one question in the Career Mail's website yesterday. You're kidding? <laughs> the very one hundred. So the very first I'm question. Yeah, one hundred percent. So we're just copying the Career Mail now, are we? <laughs> we have been for months. Yeah. <laughs> what? I'll find it for you. Yeah. What, in, it? Okay. yeah, so it's one all. In which film does Rachel McAdams play Regina George? Mm-hmm. Now, 
Uh, I forget what you both said. I said notebook, but the notebook. Just uh, I'm going to have to watch that. But it's Mean Girls. Oh, mean Girls. I didn't watch that ever. Did you? Uh, did you? Me either. No. No, I didn't watch it. Yeah. Uh, so it's one all. Now, question number three, nono, is an Italian word for what relation? You both said it's grandma. That's yeah. grandma. Is it? But it's grandpa. It's your grandfather. Oh. Is it? Yeah, nono. So what is what is grandma then? Nonna. Non, nonna. Yeah. Oh, question, oh. question eight there from yesterday's Courier Mail. Uh, question eight reading direct from the Courier Mail website at the moment. Uh, the nose of a Bubble O Bill <laughs> ice cream is made of what? <laughs> It's word for word. It's word, word for word. <laughs> <laughs> Who's doing this? <laughs> why, don't, why, don't, why don't we... Um, we should read out all the answers from today's Courier Mail and see what Lockie oh, does tomorrow. Oh, yes. oh no. On. No. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. He's in me. He had his pants in there. Which, question 15. Question 15. Question direct 15. from the Courier Mail yesterday. Question 15. <laughs> Shiba Inu <laughs> is a breed <laughs> of what <laughs> animal? <laughs> 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 Oh, oh my God! Hey! Any more? Any more? Oh my God! How do we know that the Korean mail don't have access to our document <laughs> and they're stealing from us? That's a good I'll question. I'll check. With I watch you literally. I, I see you on the Korean mail website every day, Lockie. <laughs> it is hilarious. Uh, so Shiba Inu is a breed of which animal? Back to our one. I'll tell you. Uh, what. You both said dog. Dog is correct. Yep. Ooh. And so it's two all. And the final question. I knew this was going to come back to bite you, Amanda. Uh, 55 yeah. times 3. You said, I don't know in the interest of time. Sue's worked it out. 165 is correct. 3 2 victory, Sue's. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at the quiz master today in the career <laughs> mail to one, see one. if there's any questions. Oh, it's a good one. I know the answer to this. Which, Al- o- which Olympic athlete threw his 1960 gold medal into the river? Well, we'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> oh, or at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Yeah. Who oh, did? Well, there's a, there's a little thing. If, if you can get access Boxer. to yesterday's quiz, read it, because exactly. likely there'll be answers from the 9 a.m. smarter than Sue's in there. Oh, we're doing selling Courier Mail papers now. Yeah, you're welcome, show. Chris Jones. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, I've got a, uh, Amanda, I've got a $100 Jack's Cafe voucher for you, uh, straight off the bat here. So you'll absolutely you. love Jack's nice. Cafe. The barista coffee there is to die for. Rich, velvety and smooth, I can tell you that much. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. And uh, just to, uh, to cap that off, I'll give you a $100 hashtag burgers and waffles voucher. Uh, you'll love them, great. all the different destinations that they have, locations, I should say. Um, <laughs> great stuff. Well said. And, yeah, there you go. Well done. Have Thanks, Amanda. Thank Cheers. you so much. Bye. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. For love, friendship or new Christmas memories What they've wished for is waiting for you at Wallace Bishop Shop in store or online at wallacebishop.com.au Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill's Gift Spiration I love this competition Yeah, we get to see some good bling, don't we? Every day it comes mm. into the studio We get to sort of run our eye over it and see what the latest and greatest that there is from Wallace Bishop we drive past Wallace Bishop every morning when we right. come in. Big head office. Yeah. They've redone their garden. Did you notice? I was Have looking they? at it today. <laughs> yeah. Yes. She's wrong about that at the moment, aren't she? Oh, yeah. Garden. They must have um, uh, irrigation up on their high pots. Yeah, right. I met someone from Wallace Bishop last night, actually. At Did the, you? At, oh, yeah. At the movies, yeah. Marrying Laura Allen Duck. Alexander. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Alex. that's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Great guy. He's a great man. Yeah. Yeah. And Ak actually was saying at the same time, Ak is... Uh, Jackson Munoz. Yeah, I was saying that his wife, Megan, Megan. Uh, her, her wedding ring was designed by Wallace Bishop as well. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, mine was by Stuart, by Stu- Alex's yes. dad designed it, mine. So he's the exact what? same. Oh. Yeah. Stuart did oh, really? Acker and Megan's as well. Yeah, you could go in there and... Well, actually, probably everyone can't do that. I shouldn't talk about that. Oh, I'm sure there's <laughs> ways they'd sign Are rings. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Probably not with Stuart. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, yeah. they're all they're all as good as each other. They're, yeah, and Stuart, is fantastic. Stuart designed the uh, the br- the Brisbane Lions premiership rings. When I did they hear that. Did he? Yes, yes I well. didn't know he, that. He, he did that. Put them together as well. We got Who's Dan that? Zorko by the way on the show at seven ten. Is it in there? We're getting wrapped up by Grayson from Scarborough. Sorry, Grayson, just trying to pick up your phone. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, well, this is important. You've been married eight years in December, so looking for a gift for the wife, obviously. Well, these are, yeah, keep her happy. Keep her happy. That's it. Yep. Happy wife. Happy Grayson. <laughs> Happy Grayson. 
Who wants to go first? first? Oh, Jigs. Uh, I'll go first. So we describe the item, but without telling you for some strange reason exactly what it is. Okay, and then you you get you pick the one you want. Okay, mine. Mine is starry, um, and I think if you uh, if you give this to your wife, uh, others will be green with envy, green and gold with envy. Mm. Oh, that's Grace, pretty done, good. Oh, mine. Um, if mine was a touring cricket, it'd be called Wear Some Blinger on Your Finger. <laughs> what? That's clever. <laughs> yeah. That's, all, some that's what? all I got. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. Wear Some Blinger on Your Finger. Um, this probably wouldn't be very good for your wife. An all round days, an all round days. Uh, okay. yeah. Yep. Uh, Grayson, this might, but you would look nice in it. Oh. Mm. Uh, it's, it's a man thing, is it? Yeah. And what else? Um, <laughs> Golden. Yeah. <laughs> Golden man thing. It's a golden man thing. Which you'd, where would you wear it? Top or bottoms? Top. <laughs> I don't know what the bottoms mean. An anklet. An anklet. An anklet he's talking about. You'd have know, some weird bottoms if, it, <laughs> if this thing fitted. <laughs> we don't need any princess. <laughs> what, what, what are you choosing, oh, Grayson? I don't know what you said then. You, <laughs> um, probably Lutzi. Yeah, actually. we're wearing that some linger on your finger. Okay, well, that's a very good choice, Grayson, because you've got the white gold dress ring with two carats of lab-grown diamonds worth $1,499. Yes! Wow, wow, it, wow. Mate, it guys. looks good. It is That's awesome, actually. That was my favourite one. I actually whacked great. it on my finger. It's, it's really pretty. It oh, fit, yeah. But, oh, that is fun. Don't stretch it too much, like No, this. no, no. It's, 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 <laughs> it doesn't even fit on my finger. But you big, um, big fingers over there. But it's, it's beautiful, mate. You're going to love this. Uh, what did you have? Uh, Legends, thank you very much. Yeah, uh, good quick. Yeah, my, um, I had some nine carat yellow, gold, bluebird, green, yeah, tourmaline, you, your, and diamond earrings. Yours are nice, I've got to say. Elegant. That. Valued mm. at nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Is that Sue's said it, it looked like Lady Di? Mm. Yeah, it looks like a Lady Di sort of item. And mine was a men's nine carat yellow gold chain. Nothing yeah. to do with the royal family. <laughs> Fifteen hundred dollars. That one's worth though. Uh, but great choice, Grayson. I think your wife will love it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. There we go. Right. And whether it's for love, friendship, or new Christmas memories, what they've wished for is waiting for you at Wallace Bishop. You can shop in store online, wallacebishop.com.au. Great supporters of our show. We'll do this all again tomorrow. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. The Prince is on. Yo, 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 guys. Hello, Coming Mitchell. In. Yeah, boy. Hello, hello. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm in a real uh, workforce joint. Everyone's wearing their high-vis here. They're doing some uh, some big stuff out here at, uh, what are we, Stainless, Brisbane Stainless out here. We're at, uh, we're at Wakerley. Uh, now, look, there's a, there's a lot of names attached to the sheet as far as nominations go. I've, I've given Jeff a call this morning and said, mate, I'm coming in. We've got, uh, we've got some great food for you, thanks to Subway. And he said, oh, no, you don't have to speak to Amanda when I get there, my wife. And Amanda, you just popped out and said, no, you were the one that was nominated it, but Jeff wanted to take all the glory. And he didn't even show up to work today yet. I oh, know, oh, nice, hey. So, yeah, I nominated the workplace, so yeah. Now, usually I'm asking how many people are actually here, but I can sort of see through the warehouse. So how, many, uh, how many blokes can I see here that are working with you this morning? Uh, so we've got about six on the work floor today. So. Oh, yeah. what, what's the guy's well. name that's not there yet? Jeff. Or maybe Jeff's down the docks because you guys are also in a bit of the... Ship and steel. Ship and steel. Ship and steel. Ship and steel. <laughs> is, I mean, is that, get, is that getting a run here? What are you guys... What, what's the work you guys are actually doing out here? So we fabricate anything stainless steel. So we do anything from exhaust hoods, stainless steel benches, mm-hmm. sinks. Uh, so, yeah, we do work for commercial, domestic. Yep. Yeah. Do you ship steel, though? Ship and steel. We're shipping steel. <laughs> We're making a shield against ships. <laughs> well, thanks to uh, thanks to our mates at Subway, two hundred and fifty oh, bucks. No. I mean, we talked about the people that are right here this morning. That is well and truly going to take care of everyone's. Uh, how many inches in a foot there, Suze? Doesn't matter. They are 12. taking care of those uh, those foot longs. I think enough for everybody. Maybe a second one, and then maybe a whole pallet of cookies out there as well. Great nice. value at our mates at uh, Subway. And I'd usually say, according to the sheet, thanks to Jeff. But it's all thanks to <laughs> guys. It's all thanks to Amanda. The free lunch. Don't you forget that. All right. Yeah. Say no to Jeff. Yes not, to Amanda, no, right? We know who the real boss is out here. <laughs> all right, out here at uh, Brisbane Stainless, out at Wakeley for all your uh, your steel needs. And if you've got to steel. ship them or otherwise, make it steel. <laughs> ship it steel. Ship it steel.
And a big thanks to Subway. Subway has your office or your workforce catered uh, covered with uh, Subway sub wrap and cookie platters. Available now via the Subway app, just like Brisbane Stainless are going to wrap their mouths around today. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Susie, six weeks of celebration. Uh, Naomi at Moray Field. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Now, have you seen the items that are on the Lazy Susan? When, when one of the items is one, by the way, we take it off and we replace it with something else. Mm. So, yep. Yep. Um, it, but is there anything that's caught your eyes just from the items that we have talked about? Yeah, look, I, I live in a house with four people, but I'm sure there's more with the amount of ironing that I do. So the ironing uh, did catch my eye. Ironing sucks. Yeah, that'd yeah, be yeah, a good... And don't sucks. forget the collars, Suze. Hey, f- remember oh, the collars. Yeah, you've got to do them oh. perfectly or they, they wear out the shirts, I've heard. Yes. <laughs> and you do one little accidental crease and then it takes you another five minutes. Yep. No, I was ironing yesterday afternoon. I hate it so much. Mm. Well, is that one of the options, Suze? Yes, we've got for today. Uh, uh, the options uh, still. We've got the Ryobi. Uh, the Robovac valued at nine ninety nine. The surfboard, the uh, the Ryobi gardening kit, Sue's. The same same restaurant. Yep, there we uh, go. The key finder. Key finder. And the ironing, yeah. Look, the ironing is the last one on the board uh, today. Wherever you land, wherever you land, I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Jump, let me just jump onto <laughs> the lazy Susan. Oh, it's a good idea. Lutzi's giving me ideas of where to put my hands because I'm not happy with the <laughs> wrist thing. No, I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Sit on your face. Samara. <laughs> hang on. Fix that, please. <laughs> You're trying to grab that. All right, you guys ready to go? No, hang on. Yeah, okay. She's just putting it. Oh, no, so that's not going to work. Okay, we'll just hold that one. And that, there you go. Okay, she's ready now. Okay, hang on. She's pulling her pants up. Okay. Now, you gonna, are you going to spin anti-clockwise, Lutzi, or clockwise today? What's your poison? What would you prefer? I clockwise, can... I reckon. Okay, I'm going to go today. clockwise. Ready? Yeah. All right. Go. Okay, so we start the spin. What? Spin, spin, spin. <laughs> Is it rolling? <laughs> is it rolling? <laughs> Sounds like it is. <laughs> I'm going to run around with her to get on mic. Oh, thank you. Okay, it's still spinning. I, 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 it, it, yeah, spin it again. What? <laughs> I, barely, I barely touched it today and it's still spinning. Okay, we're going through the ironing. We're right. going through the. It's going through the surfboard, the uh, the kite, and it is stopping at the Ryobi gardening kit, Woo! the blower, the line oh! trimmer. The whole thing valued at four hundred and fifty-eight dollars. Are you a gardener? Wait, wait. Are you a gardener? No, no, but I have a husband that is. So yeah, I, I love, love that. that. You'll that. complain less. <laughs> it's less great. complaining from him is great. I that. It's really good. Thanks, guys. That's awesome. Congratulations. Well done. Woo. All right, we'll take the uh, the Roby gardening kit off the board. Maybe we'll add to, <laughs> tomorrow the coffee machine, the DeLonghi coffee machine worth 699 bucks. Nice. Great idea. I love coffee too. Mm. Uh, and this will uh, continue to all this week. Of course, we've got Swaz coming up this morning as well. So if you haven't already done so, head to the Nova Player app or novafm.com.au and register for Swaz. This one's happening at the star. It is all part of Susie's six weeks of celebration, and we'll do that before 9 o'clock this morning. Thanks, boys. Thanks, boys. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Well, last week we had uh, Will Ashcroft come in. And um, had a bit of a chat to him. Oh yeah, met him. That was that was last week, wasn't it? Yeah, the son of Marcus Ashcroft. Yeah, who was a Lions player back in the day. Won the yeah back premiership. AFL. Mm. Yeah, back when they took mm. out the flag the last time, mm. which is an unbelievable story. But anyway, Dane Zorko. So we're talking Lions again. Dane Zorko is involved. Of course, he's a uh, ambassador for McHappy Day, which has was... rolled around this this week. Day was almost there last time we won. Oh, oh, what about that? What do you mean? Oh, wow. <laughs> was he? Because he's that old. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, one said the, no one said the age word. <laughs> I can. I'm the oldest one here. How are you, Zork? Yeah, good. Uh, thanks for that little dig. Lots you appreciate it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> it's just mature. Good job. You're mature. <laughs> how, how, was the, how was the win? Was it oh, mate. everything you wished yeah. for? Everything and more. Oh. Uh, Suze, uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of hard work's gone into it. Not only... Since being at the Lions, but even as a younger kid, you obviously dream of um, getting to that day and, and then to go on and win it and, and win it the way we did was just, yeah, incredible. And uh, I wish I could describe in words the feeling you experience when that siren goes. Um, very difficult too, but um, 
yeah, just just incredible, and uh, the support has been incredible. In fact, quite overwhelming to be honest, of just how much it's meant to all our fans and members, and 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 obviously to us as players and the whole entire club. It's um, it's been a pretty crazy couple of weeks. Did you uh, did you spend time out on the field after the the match, or what did you do the night of the grand final win? How long did you stay yeah. at the G four, just sort of soaking it all up? Yeah, well, I reckon we. Uh, I mean, we celebrated with the fans till about 6.30 and then we went into the um, change room, sung the song. And then within, I think we were allowed to go back out on the ground where it was just us players and staff and um, everyone involved. We had family as well. Um, We went out and just sat around the ground for about an hour after the... um, yeah, from seven thirty to about eight thirty, yeah, which yeah. was which was just which was awesome, and um, I think the whole club and family we all sung the song, and yeah, it was yeah, it was, it was so special. Honestly, it was really um, yeah, incredible, and um, I love yeah, that, words I, like I said, words can't describe it. I love that the the families were able to go out there and share it with the players too, because I just I just reckon that'd be such a magical moment because the fam the the. the the parents have probably taken all these players, do you think, to all these suburban yeah. grounds, all that junior football, every training session at some sort of, you know, ground that doesn't even have grass on it, and then here we are now. <laughs> look look where that led, right here to the MCG. Yeah, you're spot on, Ash. Like, the sacrifices that they've made for us, and I know now being a parent myself, like, just the running around you have to do and, um, you know, helping out with sports teams and volunteering where you can to, to get them yeah. to, you know, hopefully live out their dreams. But then also your families now, like partners and kids that, you know, every second weekend we have to play away and, and go interstate. Um, being an interstate club, we don't have the luxury of playing at Melbourne 15 times a year. So mm. when we do actually go on the road every second week, like, yeah, our partners are left to, you know, sort of fend for themselves somewhat, get all the kids organised, especially the, the players with partners. So they sacrifice so much for us to live out our dream and do it, you know, under our own esteem. So, um, yeah, it was, it's as much for them as it is for us as players. And um, for them to experience that moment as well was, you know, it was great to have them out there. And uh, thankful to the MCG for letting us out there and, and celebrating all together. And then you playing some of the best footy of your career is pretty incredible. Given Don't that. suck up to him now, Lutz. I mean, <laughs> given yeah. how long he's been playing <laughs> yeah. for. I mean, he was captain for, yeah. for years. You forget about that. Yeah. And that great. And then Fag's giving you the, the opportunity to stand up there with Lockie and, and Harris with that Premiership Cup was a there's a great photo of the, well the four of you actually with Fags as well with your fists in the air the trophy I mean if that doesn't end up in in, in your pool room uh, framed I don't know what does mate but incredible you know and I don't I don't know what is behind your form this year but it was extraordinary the the impact you had in a Premiership team yeah thanks Lutzi. um yeah I just got my body right for the first time in a few years so that obviously helped I had a really good preseason um I've had two really good preseasons now so. Um, off the back of what had been, you know, a couple of really tough years with Achilles tendonitis and and whatnot. So yeah, that obviously helps significantly, and and the um and the positional change as well. Going and playing backline, something I hadn't yeah. done before. There was a new new energy about my game, which I, I absolutely loved. And um, Faze has assured me I'll be staying back there uh, next year <laughs> as well. So that's really. <laughs> so that's nice as well. But um, yeah, for him to get me up on stage. When I gave up the captaincy, he said, if we ever get to that um, dais, you'll be the first one up there. And he kept his word. And he, oh, he told me, cool. at, the to- at the time, I'd forgotten about it. And then he, he said, no, you're going up. And I was like, oh, okay. Yep, right. I felt a bit weird. But um, yeah, no, it, was, uh, it, it, was, it was an awesome, awesome moment. It, it added to the moment, it did, didn't it? It that, did. that was great. Now, uh, this uh, uh, weekend, Happy we've got McHappy Day, which a fantastic charity. McDonald's House Charities, it's just... The, provide such a valuable service for families who have got loved ones, particularly, you know, the kids that are doing it tough. Yeah. Gives them an opportunity to just sort of, okay, the accommodation's taken care of, you can focus on on looking after your kid. It's a magnificent charity. And uh, $2 from every Big Mac sold on Saturday is going to go straight towards supporting these seriously ill or injured children and their families through these traumatic times. And you're an ambassador too, Dana. Yeah? And, yeah, socks as well up for grabs and everything's so, all. Yeah, there's socks up for grabs. You can there's obviously the helping hands as well that you can you can purchase. Uh, I think they're two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, and fifty dollars hands. You can you can buy. Um, there's the silly socks you mentioned. Uh, there's also uh, ten cents from every bottle of water sold. It's going to go um, donated to the Ronald McDonald House charity. So there's plenty of ways you can donate. You can jump online. Um, there's going to be buckets at McDonald's on the day where you can donate as well. So it's an incredible. Um, 
it's an incredible cause, as you said, uh, this Saturday, the Cappy Day. Um, get out there. And, of course, the Big Macs, as you said, $2 for every Big Mac. Everyone loves a Big Mac, so go get a couple if you can. I'll have one. I'll have one and, uh, yes, <laughs> and join the cause for sure. Thanks, mate. Great work, Great brother. Cause. Good stuff. Excellent. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Dave. Yeah. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Uh, I went to watch the preview yes, of, come on. of Gladiator oh, 2 yes. last night. When did the original come out? It feels like it was. I feel like I was almost back at school. Well, it had to it was be a long time ago. Where's Mitch in heaven? Uh, yeah, he's no, out no. on the streets. Anyway, a long time ago. Twenty it had to be over twenty years ago, didn't it? Ages. Like that was Russell Crowe's first big break. There was L.A. Confidential. He did around the same oh, time, yeah. and then Gladiator. Two thousand. Two thousand. So you go. Jeez. Yeah, quarter of a century ago. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And, and who else was in that in the original? Phoenix. Yeah. Um, Joaquin. Joaquin Phoenix, mm. who apparently was very difficult during it. The really? original. Well, yeah, Russell was blowing up, saying it was this, to Ridley Scott, saying this is very unprofessional. Yeah, Joaquin was a bit. I think he's a bit of a weirdo, Joaquin. Yeah, picking but, up but that he, vibe. He wasn't that bit, bit big of a star back then either, was he? No, but he, his really, brother was. Remember River? He, River was yeah. sort of the big deal before he was. He was perfectly cast in that, though. But he reckoned well, when he put the prince, because he was the prince, or something, wasn't he? Well, the emperor or whoever, whoever it was. was yeah. When he first put that costume on, he was like, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't act with this. Oh. He's all that sort of Well, gear. he was good in the film. Yeah, like, well, regardless was, of what he was doing. He was like nominated for a... Uh, I, I know this because I was reading about it the other day. Mm. He was nominated for a Best Supporting Actor. Russell got the Best Actor. Did Russell and it, and win for... Best Film, I and think. It got be- yeah, well, look, I know it was Oscars. nominated for a heap of, yeah. of Oscars. So, yeah, this is the sequel. Mm. Is it, do you so, need to know what happens in the first one? Is it best to go and watch that first, do you uh, think? Well, I, I, I ran into story? somebody who had um, not watched the original. Really? At yes. All? And so went in completely sort of not knowing anything about it other than what their basic history of uh, the Roman Empire is. And they they loved it. In fact, they said, I'm, I'm, t- today I'm going to go and watch the original Gladiator. Interesting, by the way, that it's 2000. This, there might be no co- 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 connection here, but Acker might have answered it for you. Because famously, the, I think Lee Matthews said, if they, if they bleed, we can kill them. That was his thing yeah. with the Brisbane Lions. When, like the Gladiators was two thousand, Brisbane won in two thousand one, two thousand two, two thousand three. Oh, well, it could be was, an that, omen. was that from that or anything or no? Oh, it feels like it could be something. It feels that very gladiatorial, doesn't it? Could have said yes, yeah, yeah. And this picks up. This picks it's Rambo. Yeah. This this could picks be, up. It could be Rambo. It, it might be Terminator. Terminator. What, what yeah, I think it was yeah, Terminator. It's Terminator. Yeah, Terminator. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway. you're on the right track. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, the evidence just didn't back that, it up. Yeah, that, yeah, it, was right. a, it was a good theory. Yeah. Um, so, so this is <laughs> – so I won't give away anything because I um, I know plenty of people would have watched Gladiator and loved it. Like, you would have loved Gladiator. But I you? loved yeah, it. Yes. So are the characters it. in it – are, si- are the same characters in it? Like, as older or younger or whatever? Or? Yes, yes, yes. So it picks up about – Oh, yeah, the kid. It, it picks up about 20 years on right. from when uh, Russell Crowe – Russell Crowe's uh, mm. Gladiator. Yeah, so when Joaquin Phoenix, he had a kid in it, didn't he? Or, or, or a nephew or something, who's the young kid that befriends Russell's character. Yes. So he, he becomes mm-hmm. a character in the new one, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jeez, yeah. Mitch would be pulling his hair out of us I trying know. to dissect this Where's right Mitch now. now? Yeah. On, on general, he was meant to have come last night, Mitch, if he didn't, he didn't turn up. On general terms, I want to get your thoughts on the movie and what uh, what, what you thought it was. Was it any good? Well, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like I, yes. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it because I absolutely loved the first uh, Gladiator. Well, that was a classic. There this one's not going to win Academy Awards. Okay. It's, it, and, and there's something that That's happens. That's the vibe A couple of things that happen in it where, you know, in, in the first one, it was such a great story, and but there was also a real element that you could believe it too. Like the, mm. this is what it was. Yeah. This is what it was actually. It kind of, in, in my opinion, jumps the shark a bit with some of the stuff that so goes spe- on. Visually spectacular. Oh, look spectacular. It's Ridley Scott all, all over All it. the rest of it. Yeah, I, I think it's well worth watching. But mm. it's, but and, and the other thing is, the the guy who I'd not seen before, who's the new Maximus, the Irish fella. Yeah, the Irish fella. Yeah, he's good. He's good, uh, but, Paul Meskel, but he's not Russell Crowe. Right. He's, he's not. Has he's um, not Russell. Crow. Body in the outfit. Yeah. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. What, how, how good is uh, Pedro Pascal? Good. He's, the other he's, he's good. He, I'll tell I love you, him as an actor. I tell you who's unreal, and you can't go wrong when you when you turn up to watch it. It's Denzel. Oh yeah, it's Denzel, and it's and Denzel is like a major player in this movie. Right, you, you, Denzel was, was he in the original? No, no, okay, no. But well worth checking out. The Ash Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.
Just listening on the news to that corpse flower which has come into bloom. Yeah, what's going mm. on with that? I think you know all about that, Mitch, oh, don't you? Way talk, too much. Talk to us. Yeah. Down at the Geelong Botanical Gardens, there's this... Uh, oh, fl- Sarah's... It, it, yep, her woods. hometown, the, yes. uh, the corpse flower. It looked like it's a couple of feet tall. Like It's a, it's a big plant, yeah, flower. I, I'm looking at the pictures of it. And then once <clears throat> every 10 years... Once it, every 10 years. It opens, it flowers, and it's called a corpse flower. It's fine, but once it opens, it, its temperature rises to like early to mid-40 degrees, and it's... It takes on whole. I don't know. It starts to reek like a corpse to attract Six. insects enough to come along. They come to the dead smell to then go and pollinate another flower of its type. But it's once every ten years and, and only for twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, like, somewhere between twenty four and forty eight. It's it's like the plant, like just gets this massive boner for twenty four oh. hours. That's that's oh, what it, now I understand. Yeah. And, and and then it only it lasts for twenty four hours and then that's it. Yeah, I think it lasts a little bit longer for everyone else in July. They've had lines, hundreds and hundreds of people deep to walk past and my in laws have been there three times over the weekend. Oh my gosh. And Sarah, if you're listening, I'm dobbing you in. She's been watching a live feed of this thing oh. waiting for over the week well, waiting for it to open over the weekend. Well, uh, <laughs> Jody waits for Ashley the same way. There, there's there's <laughs> The corpse flower's got more active li- <laughs> live, actually. Than, Once every 10 years. The more prof voodoo does, yeah. But have a look. Oh, that's it's a it. nice looking that's photo. It. It's, it's a nice looking plant. That's, that's it at full, full his. his. Yeah. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Are we doing this then? Yeah, we're, so we're doing six weeks of Susie. Of course, you're wrapping up on the uh, 28th of November. We thought we'd go back through the archives and uh, find some of yeah. your favourite moments. This and, actually was a good one. Well, I remember when I asked you what some of your favourite moments were, this was the, one of the first ones I think you brought up. Yeah, so I remember it was um, Valentine's Day, probably around 2018, I don't know what year, and Housewives of Melbourne had been on and that lady had just written a love song to her, her husband, who was an eye doctor. Oh, anyway, can't remember her name. So I thought, oh, it'd be a good idea. We thought, if I wrote Cliff a love song. Who's also an eye doctor. Who's oh, yeah. also an eye doctor. Mm. That's how it came. Oh, I didn't know that that was, that the, was the backstory to that it. That was the backstory to it. Probably doesn't matter. Um, and with the help of Ben here at Nova, we wrote, um, well, he wrote it really, My Heart Goes Boom. And we put it on Spotify. It didn't, I don't think it got to number one. It certainly charted. It got in the charts. Mm. Top 10, I think, from memory. I can't remember exactly where Maybe. it got to. And then the highlight of it was when I got to sing it with Missy Higgins. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she actually... She just played the piano. She yeah, refused she to refused to, s- to sing <laughs> She refused to sing There was no way she was putting her <laughs> vocals down. You, and and you fought hard. I, I remember that <laughs> night you really tried. Really and it took me a while to register. Well, she really doesn't want to do that. Yeah. She'll play the <laughs> piano, but she won't sing. But yeah, she was good she was there. Yeah, it was good that she... Sort of participated, and this is one of those. I think we paid her. (laughs) (laughs) She was like, "I got to write another album." Things I do. (laughs) Um, I don't think this is in the little. So what are we playing? This is just my song. Yeah. So this is uh, if if you if you weren't here for that and you haven't heard it before. This, by the way, this comes with a warning. This song, it's one of those earworm songs. Like it will get caught in your head. Oh yeah, won't it? All right, here it is, Susie O'Neill with "My Heart Goes Boom." (laughs) And my heart went boom. The stars were flying across the room And I knew from the very start That we would never part Cause my heart went boom Twenty years has passed since we started down our path We've had our highs, we've had our lows But that's just how the story goes boom. The stars were flying round and soon we'd spend the rest of our lives looking in each other's eyes. And my heart went boom. The rest of our lives looking <laughs> in each other's eyes. <laughs> like, Are you that, still looking at me? That's yeah. still six years. That's six years since you wrote that song. Have you taken years. your eyes off no, you? Six, six years. years. Did you do a music video to that? <laughs> yes, we was did. Was it good, Lutzi? <laughs> the film could, I can't recall yeah, yeah. it. Nick, was it. Nick wasn't even working here. Can you he post pl- that? And he played Cliff. And Indy... Uh, <laughs> what do you mean he wasn't, Cliff? Yes. What do you mean he wasn't oh, working no here? Way. No, uh, I didn't get the role of Cliff. They got oh. given to someone else. I got to be Cliff's friend. Were you oh, working here, though? Yeah, I was, uh, I was a street teamer. Oh, were you? Yeah. Oh, were you? Who yeah. won the role of Before Nick? Uh, the Matty Lucas uh, got the role of Cliff. And right. India, In, India Marks played you. India played me. Yeah, I remember India. India. And I clearly that. gotten over it. <laughs> she made a good Susie, yeah. yeah. So, you, so you got brushed as Cliff. I got brushed. <laughs> who'd you, so who'd you end up playing? Cliff's mate. Cliff's friend. 
And I went to <laughs> brutal, um, that is. I went to the beach under the story bridge in inverted commas and walked along the beach and did a did a, a um, film clip there, part of it. Yeah, I'll post Remember? the full video now. Yeah, post the video. Mm. Yeah. I've really forgotten about that. I've forgotten mm. about the film clip, to be honest with you, yeah. but I desperately want to see. Is, mm. So you were in the film clip, though, Nick? I am in it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> was that before you went to another radio station? Just before. Came, that was that was a tipping point. <laughs> <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Oh, Suze just wants to have Luxury accommodation, globally inspired dining, and unparalleled day to night attractions. Experience the Star Brisbane, Queensland's newest entertainment destination. It is a destination as well, isn't it? Oh, it is. What spa number are we up to, by the way? 121. Are we? Wow. Far out, Bustle Sprout. This is like my Susie Women's Association. Someone asked me the other day what it actually was. Well, how could you not know? That's what I always oh, thought to myself. On. I thought. Mm. Come on. Yeah. But um, it's pretty fun. We're going to the Star, which I can't wait. We're taking 10 people. And the first one, swine number 121, is Sarah from Ipswich. Welcome, Sarah. Hi, guys. <laughs> you know why I picked you? Which one is why? Sarah in the picture? The left or the right? Oh, I've got no idea. Which, are you wearing a green and um, checkered yes. skirt or jeans, jeans, Sarah? No, the jeans, sorry. Jeans. Oh, that was you. Mm. Guess where that is, Suze. You know where it is? Uh, I reckon that's at Felons. It's at Percival's. Mr. Percival's. Yeah. But I chose you, Sarah. Sarah. Because it's your 40th this week. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you. It was in July, but it's a big year. Oh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> hang on. <laughs> was it in July? Oh, it was. Close yeah. Enough. Close yeah, enough. Yeah, 40th. Close enough. Yeah. How fun. How fun. And who are you going to bring along? <laughs> I'm going to bring my um, sister-in-law, yeah, Sean. Nice. She's in the photo with me. Oh, that's her in the Sean. green, oh, okay. in the, in the green um, skirt. I would just call her a Sean. Jeez, you don't hear that name often. Sean. Is it C-I-A-N or? S-I-A-N. Yeah. Yeah, S-I-A-N. S-I-A-N. yeah you I meant that. You I meant S. I meant S. Well, fun. We're coming to the star. We get to stay at the star. We're going to have lunch together. At uh, Aloria. Actually, are we having lunch together, Buzz? Yeah. I'm sure we are. We're having of lunch you are. together. And dinner and breakfast. You get every meal. Oh, what, lunch and dinner? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, lunch you read this, exactly this thing yesterday, remember? <laughs> well, usually we have one meal together. Kachina Regina. This is the last one. The last swaz. The double up. Yeah, yes, well, triple it. up. Well, okay, we, we need to limit alcohol for everyone, <laughs> including Why? myself. No, you can have. No, that that wouldn't be very fun. Exactly. That's exactly. What I remember, Sarah. <laughs> and Sarah, by the way, my favourite here. If you could share your twin room with any celebrity, who would it be and why? She said Jason Momoa. No explanation needed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I want to work out what's going on in there in your twin room. I hope my husband isn't listening. <laughs> yeah. oh, I sure like Jason Momoa though. It's like yeah, because if you, had, if you had the chance. What's what's who's Free Jason pass. Momoa's um, girlfriend's name? No, they no, just broke up. Was he with Kravitz? Oh, Zoe Kravitz. Was no. No, no, no. no. That was Channing Tatum. Oh, no. I think Momoa broke up. Right. Who's? <laughs> no, Mitch, who does Jason Momoa? I've got a reason I'm going down this path. Yeah, we, uh, well, whoever her mother was, Zoe Kravitz's mother. Um, mother? Was, That's right. Yeah. Lisa Kudrow. No. no Lisa Bonet. Bonet. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa Bonet. Yeah. Lisa Bonet. From, from, from the um, Cosby Show. Cosby Show. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, not so fun anymore. Because <laughs> Don't oh. let him wreck it, the vibe. It's nothing to do with I was him. trying to His think of um, a nickname for Sarah because, you know, one, oh, of the big still things, here. one of the big things is giving you nicknames and I thought oh, maybe we could do a Jason right. Momoa oh, yeah, girlfriend. No. Uh, uh, Aqua. Aqua. Because he was Aquaman. Jason Aquaman. Jason Momoa. Yeah. Um, Aqua Ashburn. Aqua Ashburn. I like it. Oh, yeah. I like that. Aqua. That's her last name. Is for those who don't know. Yeah. We'll see you in a week or so. See you in two weeks. Sarah? Is there anything else we need to do? Oh, so exciting. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. You and Sean. We're going to miss you, Sue. Oh, Oh, thank you. We'll have a good time together. Not not too good a time. Yeah, you'll have a great time. Lunch, dinner and breakfast with Susie. Well, I don't know if I'll be there for breakfast. Why not? Well, why not be here in the show? We'll have it delivered to you. Okay. Yeah. But it's fun because I always bring my friend Narelle to all my soirs and she's, what do you call that? A wing woman. Mm. So if I get yeah, t- just a wing woman. If I get tired at functions, she stays there and chats to everyone on the <laughs> centre. Like a things. body double. <laughs> yeah. um, b- by the way, <laughs> this is just a what? <laughs> what? When, when, when uh, Sarah's saying I'm going to miss you, like when people say it to me now, I'm going to start. <laughs> yes. <laughs> at the pubs and stuff, I'm going to. Oh, we're going to miss Sue's. I'm going to start going. You know, look, sometimes management just has to make decisions for the best of the 
longer, I say. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Just a confused. It's a pretty big cover-up, isn't it? Yeah, it's a cover-up. Yeah. I'd like to spend more time she got, with she my got done vaping. She got done vaping in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> in the stairwell. In the stairwell. Well, if you want to get along to uh, Soise and be one of the last people to celebrate with Sue's, luxury accommodation, globally inspired dining and unparalleled day-to-night attractions. It's happening yes, it at is. the Star Brisbane, Queensland's newest tonight. entertainment destination. Head to the Nova Play app cool. and register. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. I'm smarter than... I'm smarter than Sue's. Brighton Homes are offering up to $35,000 cash back on their new homes for a limited time only. Discover how better begins with Brighton. Hey, Kathy, how are you? I am good. Nervous now. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, yeah. that, I, I don't know whether it was you or the way that Kathy's out of Logan, by the way, or whether they've just written it this way, but they kind of talked you up. <laughs> they go, they go, it says, Kathy from Logan goes really well with trivia. Uh, and good, really well. And I good use, with time. I, I do. I struggle with time usually. Sometimes some of the questions are a bit, eh, but usually my son's with me. We do the 8 o'clock one every day and... He loves the Hold the Phone Freddy song. He sings it. Oh, um, yes, we all hold love. the phone, <laughs> um, But, yeah, usually I, I don't do too bad. Okay. Okay, well, let's see how you go when the spotlight is upon us. Yes. Because we've seen people crumble before. Not that I'm hoping that no, happens no. here. No. I hope, no, I hope uh, you win the money. Don't get me. I, I always hope that the listener wins the money. Uh, I hope so, but... Even getting through and just... I've been trying to get through for over a year and never gotten through. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very really possible. <laughs> Sorry, before segment. you start out, where, where is Suze? Because she's not in the soundproof booth. Oh, come on, guys. Hmm? <laughs> she's crying. <laughs> she's crying. Huh? She's what? She's wearing a headpiece. Huh? What, what is... What is she's Lockheed getting... Doing? She's an astronaut. on in a different room, but she can't hear. She, oh, she's getting makeup done. She's getting a picture taken. Oh. And so... But she, she can't hear. Okay. Okay, because we're, we're, Kathy, we're too legit to quit yeah, 100%. here. And we wouldn't tolerate it any other way. Let's go. Did here we go. Did you look up the courier mail question? Yeah, well, yeah, there's one there. So hopefully you had a look. Did, did you? you? I did. Yeah. <laughs> well, let me let me tell you another hint. You don't even have to look that far because he always seems to just steal question one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, you yeah. can't even be bothered to go down to sort of question <laughs> six or seven. Or something, yeah. the, it's the very first question. All right, here we go. Um, 30 seconds on the clock. Your time starts now. What type of transport would you be on if you travelled on the Garn? Train. What flowers are traditionally worn on Remembrance Day? Uh, poppies. Name one of the cartoon series Matt Groening has created. The Simpsons. In which sport is the Bledisloe Cup contested? Rugby Union. Spell renovate. R-E-N-E-V-A-T-E. Stop the clock. Ooh, it's pretty strong, I think. It was very quick. Five seconds. <laughs> it was very quick with five seconds left on the clock. The spelling, I think, got me. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. But they could get Susan as well. Yeah. Um, this will be very, very close. Today. I am. We, hang on, we haven't even said bring in the gimp yet. What are He's you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you out of like the... What's what, going on here? What, is this just do what, what you... What doing? Is it do what you want Tuesday or something? I was about to make a comment on one of the questions then. Yeah, it's in like, the booth. Yeah. Is this just go crazy We're not Tuesday ready. or you just make things up? Booth. We haven't played the gimp yet. But there's so many people out there doing a tour. I just wanted to <laughs> come and in, safety uh, of the studio. Get in the booth. Yeah. Uh, the safest place. Hey, your makeup looks nice, Sus. Yeah. It's the safest place. Get in the booth. What? Is this some type of circus we're running here? I don't <laughs> understand. Like I'm in crazy town. Yeah. Has everybody completely lost I'll the... tell you what, there'll be meetings after the show, that's for sure. I think you're waiting now until that tour group goes past. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who is, uh, which, uh, which client is it? I'm assuming it's a client. Why don't we find out and we'll give them a shout out on air. Where are they? For yeah. derailing the show. Yeah. Out you go, Lutz. And what did she do? She, imagine if we had still been do, asking Kathy the no, questions. <laughs> Yeah. We're really sorry about this, Kathy. Mm. No, that's fine. <laughs> um, listen, I want to get home at some stage today too, mm. so I think we should just bring her in at this point. Well, that's he's now huh? committed to the bit. So Why is he going out there? Oh, he's talking to the clients. <laughs> Lutzy's doing a meet and greet. Oh, hang on, now he's get, hang on. Now I've got to put a different microphone on the desk. Oh, hang on, Lutzy, I've got you, mate. Yes, you're on. No, you can't work it out. 
it should be working now. Yeah, yeah? it's good. Okay. We'll, we'll cut this bit out. Yeah, uh, just, get, just drag this tool group through quickly. Come on, guys, come through now quickly if you can. Where are they from, David? I don't know where they're from. They're coming through, though. Where are you from? Media Merchants. Use your big voice on the radio. Media Merchants. Yeah, Media Merchants. <laughs> why don't get you get back it? in the booth. Why don't you get them in the booth with Suze? So, guys, the guys from oh. Media Merchants. How many this, can we get in the booth? This is Susie in the booth right now. Uh, does anyone want to join Susie in the yes, booth? Yes, do it. Go on, yeah. Just quickly jump, jump in there. We've never had two people in the booth before. What's your name? Chelsea. Chelsea's right, getting in the in booth. There. Chelsea's getting in the booth. Susie, get back in the booth. What are you doing? Okay, there you go. How many people can we fit in the booth? Anyone Let's else see. want to go in? Three? <laughs> how many, how many you reckon we can fit in? That's Bronte going into the booth. Definitely three. Anyone else want to have a crack? What about you, Jess? You get the you get in the booth there, Jess. There's All four. three of them. There's four people. Yeah, you get in as well, Kathy. There's four people <laughs> in the booth. Four people in the booth. It's as a new booth record. Is that everyone? Uh, that's well, no. There's three others in here, but oh. that's, that's all we got. That's okay. good. Okay. Anyway, Ash wants to go home. Should we bring oh, in the sorry. gimp? Yeah, bring, bring in the gimp. Okay. Bring in the gimp. Oh. Bring in the gimp. Well done, Kathy. <laughs> bring in the gimp, trying to send the questions. Make it nice and make it clear. Rabs. All right, let's do it. Susie O'Neill. Hold the phone, Freddie. Susie O'Neill. That's what we are doing, Bill. We won't see anything like that again this year. Oh, they've all filed into their standing oh, behind me. I feel like I'm in a zoo. Look at them. What's huh? going on? Hello, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. Okay, Suze, are you ready? Yes. Let's go. 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now. What type of transport would you be on if you travelled on the Garn? Train. What flowers are traditionally worn on Remembrance Day? Poppies. Name one of the cartoon series Matt Groening has created. Tom and Jerry. In which sport is the Bledisloe Cup content? Rugby. Spell renovate? R-E-N-O-V-A-T-E. Stop the clock. Double two go. Double two go. Oh, Kathy. Simpsons. Yes. What type of transport would you be on if you travelled on the Garn? You both said the train. That is correct. Do you know where it travels between? Uh, yes. Um, I should know this. Um, Darwin to Adelaide. That is correct. Oh, I really want to go on that. I don't want to go on that. All Adela- well. Adelaide to Darwin. You can go both ways. Oh, Kathy. Kathy. I'll go on that with you. Do you want to go? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> fantastic. Let's give it a break for a bit. <laughs> what flowers are traditionally worn on Remembrance Day? You both said poppies, and that is correct. We've been talking a lot about flowers today. The old buddy... Um, what is it? The, the what corpse? The corpse flower, yes, as well. But it's too all between. Did you, you know two. that, Kathy, or did you read the Courier Mail yesterday? Mm. Um, everyone knows poppies are warm. Yeah. It was <laughs> question. It was question one was question of one, yesterday's right? Courier Mail. <laughs> Name one of the cartoon series Matt Groening has created. Sue said Tom and Jerry. Mm. Showing your age, Beth. <laughs> <laughs> is anyone can think on? Oh, yes, I am. Kathy said the Simpsons. Simpsons or Futurama? <laughs> Is that still around, Futurama? Don't know. I don't know. What this is. It's uh, three, two to Kathy. Hits oh, the front. And which sport is Bledisloe Cup contested? You both said rugby. That oh, no. is correct. <laughs> Four, three, and then spell renovate. You spelt that incorrectly, Kathy. You are oh, no. R E N E V A T E. Sue said R E N O V A T E. Four all draw. Down the time. You were good oh, on time, gosh. Kathy. You were very good. Five mm-hmm. seconds is the time you had remaining. Suze, for the win, had seven. Oh. You've done it. Oh, so fun. oh there we go. We're getting well, a, a cheer from the agency team that's popped in. Well done, Sue. Yeah, good job. Kathy. 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 Let's go to the cave. To the cave. Oh, I can't see that. He's actually gone into the cave. Yeah. Time. Oh, he's really committing to it, isn't he? I always go in the cave. Of course you do. Me. Sorry, how could I be uh, so wrong? Oh, I miss this uh, little uh, <laughs> part of the cave. The VIP double, pa- a VIP double pass to Eurovision on tour featuring Dami M tomorrow at the Tivoli. Nice. Great gig. Oh. 
That'll wow. be exciting. Um, I've also got my uh, $100 Jack's Cafe voucher. The great people from Jack's Cafe. We love Jack's Cafe. Yep. And um, I've also got the uh, VIP. Oh, this is great, by the way. The VIP Cabana package for two to the Western Brisbane's uh, Beach Club, Nautilus Beach Club. This is oh. great. This is back this year. You're going to love it. It includes the reserve VIP Cabana, uh, the Carbos Spritz on arrival, and a taco platter, and a margarita jug. How good is oh. that? Wow, At thank the you. Brisbane. That's really good. I went there last year. You're going to love that. So, well, well done. Put on Kathy. Thank you. Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> there is no words, Kathy. <laughs> I know the tune. Yeah, come along. The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.